最大震度1の地震情報が発表されました。
cell one locked activating module fuel cell two locked fuel cell three locked Attention! Dark Matter Reactor Ignition Sequence has been primed. All personnel must vacate the reactor internal structure immediately. Attention! Dark Matter Reactor Ignition Sequence has been confirmed. All personnel must evacuate the reactor internal structure immediately. Combustion Chamber Seal will lock in T-20 seconds. seal has been locked for ignition. Gravitational lasers online. Raising core superstructure to center position. Superstructure has been raised to center position. Activating power lasers. Opening combustion intake valves. Power lasers online. Dark matter reactor online. Reverting power back to main facility grid. Attention! Dark Matter Reactor Ignition Sequence has been primed. All personnel must vacate the reactor internal structure immediately. Attention! Dark Matter Reactor Ignition Sequence has been confirmed. All personnel must evacuate the reactor internal structure immediately. Combustion Chamber Seal will lock in T-20 seconds. You may be wondering why we must evacuate the reactor internal structure. I raise you this question. Have you ever wondered what it's like to be in a microwave while it is running? Dark matter reactor ignition sequence initiated. 
Combustion chamber seal has been locked for ignition. Gravitational lasers online. Raising core superstructure to center position. Superstructure has been raised to center position, activating power lasers. Opening combustion intake valves. Power lasers online. Dark matter reactor online. Reverting power back to main facility grid. I do need this week's incidents reports to my office before midnight. I repeat, I do need this week's incidents reports to my office before midnight. Thank you. Warning, dark matter reactor thermal temperatures below sustainable reaction limits. Please raise the core temperature over 275 Kelvin to avoid a combustion stall. Warning, dark matter reacts sustainability lost. Combustion sequence has been stalled. Please restart the dark matter reactor immediately. Activating power lasers. Opening combustion intake valves. Power lasers online. Dark matter reactor online. Reverting power back to main facility grid. I think I'm gonna be sick.
Reactor Core Structural Integrity Monitoring System Failure. Attempting to reboot. Critical error. Reboot failure. Integrity status unknown. Pressure's monitoring system, failure. Pressure status, unknown. Warning. All facility scientific personnel, please evacuate immediately. You have 11 minutes to reach minimum safe distance. Do not use the 
officer, ladies and gentlemen. Chief Security Officer Kevin Brown will meet you all on the circuit. Right this way, please. Hey, where's everyone? Scientific for 
personnel, please evacuate immediately. You have 11 minutes to reach a minimum safe distance. The spinny chair is back, yo! Attention! Dark Matter Reactor Integrity Monitoring System Failure Preemption Protocol Initiate. Engaging Code Red Emergency. Danger! Dark matter reactor explosion will occur in T minus 10 minutes. The option to shut down the reactor core will expire in T minus 5 minutes. The option to shut down the dark matter reactor is code. now active. Please note, the temperature must be below 3,000 Kelvin to allow for the combustion stall protocol to engage. Attention, a distress signal has been sent by reactor operations personnel. Communications network down, attempting to re-establish connection with Eastern Seaboard Communications diode. I'm here, Adam. Can I shut it down? Am I allowed to shut down, Adam? Danger. Emergency. Shutdown system activated. But how are you going to get to the reactor? It's 1,000 Kelvin. Oh, it's decreasing rapidly. Yeah. That's gonna cause it to stall. Emergency shutdown system successful. Crisis averted. Dark matter reactor lowering into holding chamber for immediate maintenance. Emergency fire suppression system discharge has been activated. Draining primary and reserve bridge codex water tanks. It's literally water. Attention, reactor operations personnel. Please report status immediately. Wait, are you gonna watch the cutscene or whatever? Alright, I'll do it. Facility mandated radio silence overridden by reactor operations personnel. Code Hotel 
Lima, 32. The facility is secure. Squadron Bravo 3 is moving in. Reactor operations, please report on the near thermal runaway of the DMR. The DMR experienced a pressure containment failure within fuel cell chamber 3, causing the mixture of both inner and outer atmospheres. How this occurred is unknown to us. However, we are able to engage the emergency combustion style protocol mere moments before the DMR fell to the thermal runaway. The first warning was prompted around 11.23 p.m. We recorded a spike in combustion, however dismissed it as part of the probability for neutron flux spikes. Was Dr. Kaiser present in the facility at the time? No. Kaiser left the facility 40 minutes prior to the first warning. She scheduled a lockdown drill to take place around the same time she left. I was tasked with conducting okay, a well. for the DMR, saying it was one of the preliminary tests to allow for the DMR to be used commercially. The DMR proceeded to reach supercritically approximately around 11.35 p.m. The lockdown Dr. Crazier placed was overridden following the announcement of a code red emergency. The shutdown code has to be searched for manually. The automated systems in place were deleted with a forced intrusion recorded around noon earlier today. If a forced intrusion was detected, why was the engineering department not notified? Why was the information department not notified? It is your job to ensure all systems are running nominally to prevent the such an accident. Dr. Kaiser dismissed the investigation, saying that information was updating the code to meet the standards for their new firmware. I proposed the shutdown of the DMR during this system maintenance, yet she disregarded the notion by saying that it would not impact operation. Engineering reports that there's no reference to such maintenance request. Neither does information. Protocol states that during any software updates that are relevant to the DMR operations must be conducted during the DMR's off time. Noted. Thank you two for handling the situation. We may have just prevented the downfall of the nuclear industry. I'm sure that Mr. McCarthy is informed of this immediately. For now, an investigation will be conducted on Dr. Kaiser for her negligence of safety protocols. Bravo 3 will monitor the situation for now. You two are relieved of your duties effective immediately. So we got fired. Protocol Salatum has been activated. Please prepare for emergency evacuation at this time. This is not a drill. I repeat, this is not a drill. I just gonna manipulate scientific data. I'm just gonna wave again. Control world government. Yeah. Shut down infrastructure. Ship everything to China. Just look at this person. <laughs> Attention all bottom side to certain personnel. We have received signal to begin the vertical silencum detonation sequence. Warheads will be primed in T minus 40 seconds. And I have to hit the key. Oh, no, I don't. Maybe next. Oh, yeah. I just realized you have that 3D face now. Oof. Yeah, very slowly. Now I'm gonna get the keys. All Wait. bottom side facility personnel, please evacuate to the Tartarus zone immediately. I repeat, please evacuate to the Tartarus zone immediately. Uh, uh. Where? Oh, never mind. Right here. Oh, 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 yeah. Oh, 
Last key. Attention all facility personnel. Bottom side warhead control room has authorized the detonation of the facility. The warhead detonation sequence has been engaged. Run. Wait. Almost forgot. Control. Manipulate scientific data. Take over blast control world government. Shut down infrastructure. Ship everything to China. Just Look at hmm. this person. Alright, we're out of here. I now just realized that we added that alarm back. What?
I guess 19, 1985. Uh-huh, uh-huh, uh-huh. God damn it. Begin log. Today's date is August 20, 1985. Time is 7.20 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. Log ID is Delta Echo 553. Alright. Let's begin. Around midnight on August 18th, 1985, the facility suffered a break in air situation, where an undetermined amount of trained combatants were able to ferment themselves within the off-limits areas of the facility. Is this correct? Yes. From there, said combatants were able to bypass or place security systems and trigger a protocol cell time contingency plan via a self-manufactured site access card. They were additionally able to find a spare warhead Arvin key to access step 4 in a protocol seltum sequence, that being the detonation panel. Is this correct? Yes. According to your preliminary report, all non combatant personnel were able to evacuate. Out of the 10 security operatives on site, only 7 are accounted for. Is this correct? Yes. Three of our operatives were killed in action. Advanced Guardsman Maribel Blanchett was unable to evacuate in time as she was fending off fleeing hostile combatants in bottomside Tartarus. Guardsman Clark Hill was <coughs> operating the bottomside warhead control room at the time of the break and enter. Elite Guardsman Adam Hall was shot during the final stages of the evacuation. Well, ain't that fantastic? Sir, if I may, I want to make note of something my fellow operatives and I gather from eyewitness testimonies from employees. They say that these combatants ignored them and did not express any immediate danger to them. Campbell's right. These combatants would even go out of their own way to prevent collateral damage of any of the employees. They only seemed to attack us if they had a direct line of sight with us with no nearby civilians. They were only going for us. I see. Were any of our operatives able to apprehend the combatives? Yes. At one point, we had apprehended two combatants at separate points after they had ran out of ammunition. Upon further inspection, we were able to identify some sort of origin group. Something about a Kleiner oil group? Unfortunately, we weren't able to take any of the combatants alive with us. We had to leave as soon as possible due to the rushing onslaught of other active combatants. As far as we know, none of them got out, but we don't know for sure. Well, clearly, they managed to get in without using our front door, so one could imagine they'd do the same when it came to leaving. Sir, we have no plausible explanation as to how these combatants were able to nest themselves in the facility. We're not even sure of their motivations, considering the extent they went to to destroy the facility. Jones, you know damn well that it's your job as site security officer to prevent these sorts of things from happening. Yet the resources of the facility at your disposal to find flaws in the facility's design are always pinpoint the nest of these operatives. Sir, with all due respect, our funding was tremendously low. We were suffering inventory loss, low ammunition reserves, and understaffing due to your actions as Chief Security Officer. You cannot blame me for executing your orders and policy decisions. If we had more on-site security with more up-to-date weaponry, and maybe even the proper funding, chances are we could have avoided this entirely. You never made it clear that your division was suffering from such traits. Due to your own incompetence, our records never indicated that you need an increase in funding and increase in the number of operatives or otherwise. We're done here. Instead of arguing with you, I'm taking my investigation elsewhere. I expect your resignation at my desk by tomorrow.
Oh god. Sounds and what? That does give me the chance to add four structures though. <coughs> you know what I need to add to this? Whoa. I guess I'm gonna get the code. And here we go. Alright. Alright. Oh, it's right there. Okay, perfect. Where is that? Um. React <laughs> Operations like Corporate uh... Offices. Mm. And got it. I said, and got it. Come on! Thank you. It took me a second. And here I go. Alright. Whoa.
Warning. Facility integrity compromised. Please enter a safety shelter or evacuate the facility immediately. All facility and science personnel, please Area. evacuate immediately. That guy get flung up. Dark the matter reactor superstructure integrity dropping. Someone Engage got flung. Did you not see it? Immediately. I don't think so. The other guy got flung. Oh wow. Attention, facility maintenance personnel. Show, Please report status immediately. Yeah, I like how dense like that. Really nice detail. system error detected. Severe system damage. Shutting down. Danger. Dark matter reactor explosion will occur in. T minus five minutes. The option to shut down the reactor core has now I'm expired. Grinding for the cat. Attention, all facility personnel. A code black directive has been issued. Evacuate to Tartarus. Attention, dark matter reactor oh. operations team. Please evacuate the facility immediately. Here we go. Control system error. Reactor controls irresponsive to dark matter reactor primary control node. Yes! Alright, we're good. We're good. good, we're good. Alright, all right. Reactor all right. on main personnel. This is our last chance to prevent the obliteration of the dark matter reactor. Climb onto the superstructure and eject all fuel cells within one to three seconds of out of the side. Invoke a combustion salt and turn it down the on the dark matter reactor. Have a minute. Good luck. Alright. Dark matter Here pressure go. purging system is ineffective. Pressure continues to rise. Further degradation of structural integrity may be possible. Monitoring system failure. Alright, go, go, go. All right, everybody get to a fuel cell. Look at the one up back. Alright. Tell me when ready. I'm ready. Is one ready? Yeah, I'm ready. Yep. Fuel cell. Two. Oh, yeah! But I died. Does that happen normally? Well, I guess if we all die, then I guess that kind of makes sense, because... Yeah. Technically, if you were to be standing right in front of the cell, when it's being ejected, it just gets shot straight into your body. Jesus. Attention, reactor operations yeah. personnel. Finally. Please report status immediately. 200 credits. More electrons. Let's go. About time. I don't think I've gotten to hear the dialogue for this ending. You have one yeah. new message. Uh, good morning, employee. This is a call each of the reactor operations team have received. I am aware of the integrity failure and the thermal runaway of the DMR. I've been also made aware that the primary shutdown system failed. Which leads me to my next statement. Why on earth did you think going into the chamber was a good idea? Let alone walking around on the thing while it was blowing itself apart. Manually ejecting all three fuel cells during a runaway reaction is very dangerous. All three cells must be ejected at near the same time. Meaning at least three members of the team went into the chamber. Now, although I am a 
angered at the breakage of Rule 12B of the Reactor Operations Team Handbook. Do not enter the core chamber during a potential thermal disturbance or uncontrolled reaction. I must say, what you did was very, very brave. You did not think of your lives, or whether or not you would come back out of the chamber, but rather the lives of those who rest above the facility. Long story short, I'm slightly disappointed, but very proud to work with you all. I hope to see some of you at the headquarters next week. Goodbye.